What is up, everybody? JT Dangerously here once again. I am back to do my Week 4 NFL predictions. Now, Week 3 just ended tonight on Monday Night Football with the Dallas Cowboys defeating the New York Giants. So, Week 3 is in the books, and we're now into Week 4 of the NFL season. So, I'm very excited to do my Week 4 NFL predictions for you guys, and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now, our record in Week 3 was a week I would like to forget because we went 5-11. and 11. So week 3 literally and figuratively kicked my ass, and I'm looking to rebound and bounce back. So hoping this video, we will get back on the winning track. We are currently on a one-week losing streak. Hoping this video, we will end this losing streak, hopefully. Now, if you guys haven't checked out my week 5 college football predictions video yet, definitely go check it out if you haven't, guys, because this is the second video of a combined three video day on the channel today and this week, guys. And these are the final three videos in the month of September. So I hope you guys were able to watch this video and all the fantastic videos we put up on the channel in the month of September this year. And as always, sure you support the channel as always, guys, by watching these videos. Super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, and commenting your picks, your opinions, and representing your NFL squads in the comment sections down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, guys, as a first time viewer, and this is your first video, boy, pick to go in if you're a huge fan of the NFL like myself and you're ready for week four of the NFL season. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club because this club is just, just two. Three. Woo woo! Yeah, thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into my week four NFL predictions. Let's start off on Thursday Night Football with an AFC showdown between the undefeated Miami Dolphins heading to Cincinnati to face the reigning AFC champions, the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, the Miami Dolphins are coming off their huge victory at home on Sunday, defeating the Buffalo Bills. And I know my good friend Joseph Collin on the Big Fight Field channel, who is a die-hard Miami Dolphins fan, is happy to see his Dolphins undefeated and in first place in the AFC East. And the Dolphins are looking to continue winning ways to get it done on the road and remain undefeated. There is how you have the Cincinnati Bengals coming off their victory on Sunday over the New York Jets. Joe Burrow had a big game and the Bengals are looking to continue winning ways and get back to 500 with a victory at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown on Thursday Night Football... This one's going to be a really good one matchup. You got Tua Tonga Vailoa. Hopefully, he'll be ready to go. He did get a concussion in that game against Buffalo, but came back and won the game for the Dolphins against Joe Burrow. This one's going to be good. I mean, Jamar Chase versus Tyreek Hill and Waddle. This one's going to be a great one on Thursday night. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Tua Tonga Vailoa and the undefeated Miami Dolphins. They get it done on the road and defeat the Cincinnati Bengals on Thursday night football. Fins up. And now the early Sunday matchup, which will start this week at 6.30 here on the West Coast, 9.30 on the, on the East Coast, because this game will be played in London between the Minnesota Vikings facing the New Orleans Saints. Now the Vikings are coming off their gum from behind victory on Sunday at home, defeating the Detroit Lions, and the Vikings are looking to continue winning ways with a victory here. There is idea of the New Orleans Saints coming off their loss on Sunday to the Carolina Panthers, and the Saints are looking to rebound and bounce back. So coming from me in this NFC showdown being played in London, England... This one's going to be good. I mean, you got Captain Kirk Cousins versus uh, Jameis Winston. You got Dalvin Cook versus Alvin Kamara. You got Justin Jefferson versus Michael Thomas. This one's going to be a good one in London. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Captain Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, and the Minnesota Vikings to get it done on the road and defeat the New Orleans Saints. And now the regular Sunday slate, which will start at 10 a.m. here on the West Coast, 1 p.m. on the East Coast. Starting off with the Cleveland Browns heading to the Georgia Dome to face the Dirty Birds, the Atlanta Falcons. Now the Browns are coming off their big victory on Thursday Night Football, defeating the Pittsburgh Steelers. Nick Chubb had a monster game on the ground, and the Browns are looking to continue winning ways and get a victory on the road. There is side, you have the Atlanta Falcons coming off their road victory on Sunday, defeating my Seattle Seahawks. Marcus Mariota had a big game, and the Falcons are looking to continue winning ways and get a big victory at home. So coming from me in this matchup... Jacoby Brissett versus Marcus Morio. This one should be good, but coming from me, I'm going to go with Jacoby Brissett, Nick Chubb, and the Cleveland Browns to get it done on the road and defeat the Atlanta Falcons in a close one. And now the next matchup. It is an NFC East rivalry showdown between the Washington Commanders heading to the Jerry Dome to face the Dallas Cowboys. Now the Commanders are coming off their loss on Sunday to the Philadelphia Eagles, and the Commanders are looking to rebound and bounce back on the road against a hated NFC East rival. There is idea of the Dallas Cowboys coming off their victory tonight on Monday Night Football over the New York Giants. Cooper Rush once again got it done for the Cowboys, and the Cowboys are looking to continue winning ways and get another big victory against a hated NFC East rival. So coming from me in this NFC East rivalry showdown between two franchises that do not like each other i am going to go with cooper rush zeke and the dallas cowboys to get it done at home and defeat the washington commanders in a shootout 
And now the next matchup. It is an NFC showdown between my Seattle Seahawks heading to Ford Field to face the Detroit Lions. Now my Seahawks are coming off the loss at home on Sunday, losing to the Atlanta Falcons. Geno Smith had a solid game, but he once again dropped the ball. And it's just like he is. He's a roller coaster quarterback. One week he's good, one week he isn't. And my Seahawks are desperately looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. There is a of the Detroit Lions coming off their loss on the road, losing to the Minnesota Vikings. Even though they had a lead late, they fell short in the end. And the Lions are looking to rebound. Rebound and bounce back at home. So coming from me in this NFC showdown, this one should be a good one. I mean, you got Geno Smith versus Jared Goff. You got DeAndre Swift. Uh, DeAndre Swift versus uh, our pretty talented running back game with Penny and DJ Dallas and Chris Carson. So this one should be good. But coming from me, I may get this one wrong, but I am going to go with Geno Smith, Pete Carroll, and my Seattle Seahawks to rebound and bounce back on the road and defeat the Detroit Lions in a very close one. And now the next matchup it is an AFC South rivalry showdown between the Tennessee Titans heading to Lucas Oil Stadium to face the Indianapolis Colts. Now the Titans are coming off their big victory on Sunday at home, defeating the Las Vegas Raiders. Ryan Tannehill had a big game, their defense had a big game, and the Titans are looking to continue winning ways and get back to 500 with a victory. Their side of the Indianapolis Colts coming off their first victory of the season, upsetting the Kansas City Chiefs at home on Sunday. Matt Ryan had a big game, and the Colts are looking to continue winning ways after that huge upset on Sunday by getting a big victory here at home. So coming from me in this AFC South rivalry showdown, Tannehill versus Matt Ryan. This one should be good. I mean, Jonathan Taylor versus um, Derrick Henry. This one's going to be a good quarterback and running back showdown. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry, and the Tennessee Titans to get it done on the road and defeat the Indianapolis Colts in a close one. And now the next matchup it is an NFC showdown between the Chicago Bears heading to Gotham to face the New York Giants. Now the Bears are coming off their victory on Sunday on the road defeating the Houston Texans. I know my good friend the Gamers Goon who is a diehard Chicago Bears fan is happy to see his Bears get a win. But there's a lot of there's still a lot of problems there in Chicago. And the Bears are looking to continue winning ways and get it done on the road. There is idea of the New York Giants coming off their first loss of the season tonight on Monday Night Football, losing to the Dallas Cowboys. And Daniel Jones and the Giants are looking to rebound and bounce back at home. So coming from me in this NFC showdown Justin Fields versus Daniel Jones. This one should be good. But coming from me, I am going to go with Justin Fields and the Bears to get it done on the road and defeat the New York Giants. And now next matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars heading to Philly to face the undefeated Philadelphia Eagles. Now the Jags are coming off their big victory on the road, defeating the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday. Trevor Lawrence had a big game. The running game had a big game with... Um, uh, Travis and Tenney Jr. had a, a big game. Robinson as well. And Trevor Lawrence and the Jags are looking to continue winning ways and get a big victory on the road. There is idea of the undefeated Philadelphia Eagles coming off their victory on Sunday over the Washington Commanders. Jalen Hurts had a big game. And who would have thought the, the Eagles would be doing this good? And a lot of people are thinking Jalen Hurts could be winning the MVP this year. And the Eagles are looking to continue winning ways and get a big victory at home and remain undefeated. So coming from me in this matchup... This one's going to be good. I mean, you got Trevor Lawrence versus Jalen Hurts. This one's going to be a great quarterback showdown. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Jalen Hurts and the undefeated Philadelphia Eagles to get it done at home and remain undefeated and defeat the Jacksonville Jaguars in a shootout. And now the next matchup. It is an AFC showdown between the New York Jets heading to Heinz Field to face the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now the Jets are coming off their loss on Sunday, losing to the Cincinnati Bengals. And Joe Flacco and the Jets are looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. There is idea of the Pittsburgh Steelers coming off their loss on Thursday Night Football to the Cleveland Browns. And boy, I got to say it now. Mitchell Drabinski is struggling. And I will say this. If the Steelers cannot beat the Jets this week... I'm telling you, Steelers fans, you have to start Kenny Pickett that played for Pitt. He got Pitt an ACC championship last year. You drafted him. He's a hometown guy. You have to start him if Mitchell Trubinsky struggles against the Jets this week. But the, the Steelers are looking to rebound and bounce back at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown, like I said, if the Steelers do not beat the Jets, Pittsburgh needs to start Kenny Pickett. ASAP. So I am going to go with Mitch Trubinsky and the Pittsburgh Steelers to rebound and bounce back at home and defeat the New York Jets in a shootout. And now the next matchup. It is a huge AFC showdown, one of the big games in week four of the NFL season between the Buffalo Bills heading to Baltimore to face the Baltimore Ravens. Now the Buffalo Bills are coming off their heartbreaking loss on Sunday on the road, losing to the Miami Dolphins. 
Uh, that, that game was absolutely fantastic, and Buffalo just fell short in the end, and the Bills are looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. There's how you have the Baltimore Ravens coming off their victory on the road, defeating my New England Patriots, and I know my good friend Tiger Raven, who is a diehard Baltimore Ravens fan, was happy to see his Ravens get it done, and I will have to say best of luck the rest of the season, Tiger Raven, and to your Baltimore Ravens, but I will continue to say this. Pay Lamar Jackson ASAP. I don't care how much he wants, you pay the man. He's doing a lot of good things right now in the uh, in the NFL. I think he's leading in almost everything with uh, touchdowns, uh, yards, and all of that. But Baltimore would be a fool to not pay Lamar Action Jackson right now. It's Lamar Pay Me Jackson. And the Ravens are looking to continue winning ways and get a victory at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown, one of the big games in week number four of the NFL season... This one's going to be good. If you thought that Miami-Buffalo game was good last week, this one could definitely top it. I mean, you got Josh Allen versus Lamar Pay Me Jackson. This one's going to be good. But coming from me, I am going to go with Lamar Pay Me Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens to get it done at home and defeat the Buffalo Bills in a banger. And now next matchup is an AFC showdown between the Los Angeles Chargers heading to Houston to face the winless Houston Texans. Now the Chargers are coming off their loss on Sunday at home, losing to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And you got to give a hell of a lot of gut to Justin Herbert. He actually played that whole game with crack ribs after that game against Kansas City last Thursday night. And the fact that he played the whole game shows how tough that son of a bitch is. you got to give a hell of a lot of kudos to Justin Herbert for even playing that game on Sunday. But the Chargers are looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. Their side, you have the winless Texans coming off their loss on Sunday to the Chicago Bears. And the Texans are desperately looking for their first victory of the season and they're looking to get it done at home. So coming from me in this AFC showdown... I'm going to go with a little bit of an upset. I am going to go with the winless Houston Texans to get their first victory of the season at home and defeat the Los Angeles Chargers in a close one. And now next matchup is an NFC showdown between the Arizona Cardinals heading to Charlotte, North Carolina to face the Carolina Panthers. Now the Cardinals are coming off the loss on Sunday at home, losing to the Los Angeles Rams. And Kyler Murray and the Cardinals are looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. There is idea of the Carolina Panthers coming off their big win on Sunday over the New Orleans Saints. Baker Mayfield had a big game. And the Panthers are looking to continue winning ways and get back to 500 with a victory at home. So coming from me in this NFC showdown... This one should be good. Kyler Murray versus Baker Mayfield. You got um, you got that. You got Christian McCaffrey versus the that talented Arizona running back. Can't remember his name off the top of my head. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, Cliff Kingsbury, and the Arizona Cardinals to rebound and bounce back on the road and defeat the Carolina Panthers in a shootout. And now the next matchup between my New England Patriots heading to Lambeau to face the Green Bay Packers. Now my Patriots are coming off their loss on Sunday at home, losing to the Baltimore Ravens. We did also lose Mac Jones with a high, sounds like a high ankle sprain. So it could be Brian Hoyer's time there or, or, or the quarterback that we drafted in this year's NFL draft. I think it was Brian Zape. It started with, his last name starts with a Z. But if... Um, Mac Jones cannot go. I Hopefully, Brian Hoyer can get it done for my Patriots, and we're looking to rebound and bounce back on the road. There inside, you have the Green Bay Packers coming off their big victory over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, defeating Tom Brady on Sunday. Aaron Rodgers had a solid game, and the Packers are looking to continue winning ways and get a victory at home. So coming from me in this matchup... If it's Brian Hoyer versus Aaron Rodgers, I think I'm going to have to pull the reverse psychology card. I am going to go with the discount double check of the Green Bay Packers to get it done at home and defeat the New England Patriots. Hopeful the Patriots will win. And now next match, it is an AFC West rivalry showdown between the Denver Broncos heading to the Death Star in Las Vegas, Nevada to face the winless Las Vegas Raiders. Now the Broncos are coming off their very sloppy game on Sunday Night Football, defeating the San Francisco 49ers 11-10. Russell Wilson did not have another big game, as a lot of people would thought, and the Broncos are looking to continue winning ways and get it done on the road. There is the idea of the winless Las Vegas Raiders coming off the loss of the Tennessee Titans on Sunday. I will have to say, I think the biggest disappointment in the NFL season right now is the Las Vegas Raiders in the AFC. I mean, who would have thought? They have the Devontae Adams and Derek Carr. They have a solid defense, but they're winless. And the and the Raiders are desperately looking for their first victory of the season, and they're looking to get it done at home. So coming from me in this AFC West rivalry showdown, Carr versus Russell Wilson. This one should be good, but coming from me, I am going to go with Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos to get it done on the road and defeat the Las Vegas Raiders in a close one. 
And now the Sunday night matchup, the other big game in week number four of the NFL season between the Kansas City Chiefs heading to Raymond James Stadium to face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now the Chiefs are coming off their surprising loss on the road on Sunday, losing to the Indianapolis Colts. I did not see that coming at all, and it just proved that week three was my worst week in picks. And Kansas City laying an egg like that on the road, the Chiefs are desperately looking to get back on the winning track and get it done on the road on Sunday Night Football. There is idea of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming off their loss on Sunday to the Green Bay Packers. Tom Brady did not have his best game. It seems like he's not having a great year this year. And the Buccaneers are looking to rebound and bounce back at home on Sunday night. So coming from me in this huge showdown on Sunday Night Football, one of the big games in week number four of the NFL season... Mahomes versus Brady. This one's going to be a really good quarterback showdown on Sunday Night Football. But coming from me, I don't pick against Tom Brady often, but I am going to go because of Tampa Bay's woes with injuries. I am going to go with Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs to get it done on the road and defeat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Sunday Night Football in a banger. And now the Monday Night matchup that will go against Monday Night Raw. It is the rematch of last year's NFC Championship game between these two NFC West rivals, the Los Angeles Rams heading to Santa Clara to face the San Francisco 49ers. Now we all know what happened at last year's NFC Championship game. The Rams defeated the 49ers to advance to the Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl championship. So this is the much anticipated rematch on prime time on Monday night. Now starting off with the Rams, they're coming off their big road victory over the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday. And the Reigning Super Bowl champs are looking to get it done on the road on Monday Night Football. There is idea of the San Francisco 49ers coming off their loss on Sunday Night Football to the Denver Broncos. Jimmy Garoppolo did have a solid game but fell short. And the 49ers are looking to avenge last year's NFC Championship game by getting a big victory here at home on Monday Night Football. And, don't, and so coming from me in this NFC Championship rematch between these two NFC West rivals that hate each other's guts on Monday Night Football... This one's going to be good. Matthew Stafford versus Jimmy G Money. This one's going to be a fantastic Monday night matchup this week. So coming from me, I am going to go with Matthew Stafford, uh, Aaron Donald, Sean McVay, and the reigning Super Bowl champs, the Los Angeles Rams, to get it done on the road and defeat the San Francisco 49ers on Monday Night Football in a banger. And those are my week four NFL predictions. Now, I want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below. Who do you see winning in week number four of the NFL season? And let me know, who do you think has had the biggest disappointment this year? In the AFC, for me, it's got to be the Las Vegas Raiders. And in the NFC, I would say, got to be the New Orleans Saints. All that hype, all that talent in there, one and two. So I would say the Raiders in the AFC has been the most disappointing right now. And the Saints in the NFC have been the most disappointing in the NFC. But let me know what you guys think. And as always, represent your NFL teams in the comment section. Even if they're having a rough year, like the Las Vegas Raiders, or having a great year, like the Miami Dolphins and the Philadelphia Eagles, represent them in the comment section. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on a serial comment. Like it and of course, reply right back to me because comments and your opinions are absolutely always welcome on this channel. Now, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching my week four NFL predictions today. Again, thank you guys so very much for the overwhelming success we've had on the channel. Thanks to you guys. Truly blessed to have you guys part of this dangerous alliance. Now, before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends, score super kick, that like button like only you guys can. Of course, guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous. Dangerous Alliance, we are getting desperate. We are getting really close to 1,100 subscribers, folks. So, again, thank you guys for the overwhelming support in the month of September. Again, thank you guys so very much. And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you guys waiting for? If you're a fan of professional wrestling, when it comes to New Japan Pro Wrestling, All Elite Wrestling, the WWE, and Ring of Honor Wrestling, and you're a fan of professional sports when it comes to the NBA, the NHL, Major League Baseball, the NFL, and college football, super kick that subscribe button, folks. It's free, and you become part of this bigger, dangerous alliance. And I will see you guys, hopefully, this upcoming week for my official New Japan Pro Wrestling's Royal Quest 2 2022 predictions. FTR Aussie Open, Shota Umino Osprey 2, and Zack Sabre Jr. Naito 10. Later days, guys. Stay dangerous and peace.